Hello there. We uh, took a couple days off this weekend and met with some friends at the flea market. I decided to bring most of them home and I guess uh, we're in some sort of a collage group hug today on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer in here with all my buddies on the Crazy Picker Life. Monday edition, Monday Labor Day edition. We are going to take out a stump today, probably not on camera, but as you can see I've got a lot of helpers. But before we do that, we better check on Banana Peeler and today's order flow. Okay, thanks to all the uh, cast and crew on that particular shot. We had a fun weekend. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute here so we can uncork banana peeler on these orders. Yeah. We got some orders today. Yep, 38. 38 as it sits, camera orders, and I've got another eight miscellaneous. So what does that put us at? 44 as of pretty early Monday morning. Yep. Did you have fun this weekend? Yep. We got out into uh, Denver area this weekend. And I'll talk about the particulars of that, but Banana Peeler put out the first set of 21, 21 orders. And so that means he's gonna be ready to pack these. Let's see how quick we can go here. Minolta Hymatic, 80 bucks. Some kind of old film box with film in it. Thir expired film, 1377. Uh, Pentax medium format cover of some kind, 1377. Linhoff Technica 4x5 Sports Finder, 43 bucks. Lens hood for Hasselblad, 28 bucks. Lens, $35. A Vivitar for Yashica Rico case. Oh, I'd love to sell those cases out. We got too many of them. It's a cool case with Rico right on the front. Doesn't smell bad. 1361, free shipping. Mamiya, large rubber focus grip. Last one we sent out didn't fit. Whatever they were trying to put it on. 1877, no, 1827. Rare Rolly Flex lens cap. 48 bucks. Hope it fits. Again, lens caps are always tough because some people are trying to find lens caps for oddball stuff. Uh, there's a lot of miscommunication, there's a lot of different sizes, da 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 da. Uh, safe flight cover of some kind, 1325 plus shipping. That's weird. Is it going to Canada? Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah, nope. It's just weird that there's shipping on it. Uh, Canon lens, 40 bucks. Topcon lens, 25 bucks. Nikon hot shoe, 10 bucks plus some shipping. That one might be going to Canada. France. Really? For 10 bucks? Canada. Quantary lens, 28 bucks. Phase teleconverter, yeesh. That one's been around forever. 8 bucks. Minolta lens hood, 25 bucks plus shipping. Going to France. A couple of used lens hoods, oh, as opposed to new. Nikon Nikon, 13 and 11. Rolly Flex filter set. 56 bucks. Rolly cord back adapter, 27 bucks. Filter Hasselblad, 13 bucks. Another disc film, 13 bucks. Uh, Rolly filter, 24 bucks. Okay, so uh, that's 21 of the 38 orders. I know there's a couple big ones in here too, towards the end, so I'll come back and show you that stuff too. Priority one number, priority one number one. Oh my gosh, it must have been a good weekend. Priority number one this morning and into the afternoon is to get caught up on the orders. I have a sale ending at 5 p.m. today, 5 p.m. ish today. Almost 2,000 items are ending, as well as the sale is ending, as well as it's the end ish of Memorial, no, Labor Day. So, uh, we should get some more orders before then 
We can't ship today, but we want to be in good shape today. So I do have some things to show off uh, that we picked up from the flea market and talk about that. And I did get paid on this big behemoth, a couple pieces. I should pack that up today too. Okay, busy day, gotta get school started. That's right, we do school on holidays sometimes. And then we took off last Friday and didn't do school. So we have our own schedule as long as we get it all taught. And we do. <laughs> okay, let's talk a few minutes about our weekend. Oh, hi sis sis, come on in. What do you got there? Dolly. What's Dolly got going on her head? Oh, she got a hair extension. Purple. Yeah. Pretty. Okay. So, <laughs> I got my own little hair extension going there. Yeah. So this weekend, oh, by the way, I got the new Uline cup. They really should sponsor me, right? Mmm, boy, that'd be a good sponsor. I buy boxes from them and bubble wrap. And I like their quick service, and I like their supplies because they're um, solid boxes. They're not cheap boxes. Delivered right to my door. Okay. And I got the cup. So this is not a sponsored spot. <laughs> okay, well, some people said last week, Hey, dealer, you look like you need a break. So we had we had a trip to Denver planned for at least six, seven, eight weeks on the calendar. That's the way we do things. Uh, it happened to be Labor Day weekend, which would not be my favorite weekend to go out into a large city and and uh, you know get around. The traffic was not that bad. We beat it in. We beat it out. We, you know, there was one time. Where I said I like to uh, I like to zig when others zag, and I got this this fireball comment on oh you must be a lost soul if you like to zig when others zag and that's all you like to do you're just counterproductive and a real scoundrel. <laughs> so maybe I should qualify that comment. I like to zig when others zag, and what I mean by that is I like to save time. I like to not wait in lines. I like to uh, plan my vacations in the middle of the week. I like to go places when nobody's there. I don't like to fight everyone else for the same piece of pie. I like to show up and my piece of pie, the best one, is already waiting for me. So when I got shakes, so he's making a shake, smoothie. I like to uh, strategically do things when other people aren't because it is less stressful, it is uh, typically less costly, uh, there's no lines, you get to enjoy whatever you're doing, your family, whatever. So that's really what I mean. So we went early Friday morning to Denver, stayed, uh, stayed at a reasonably nice hotel, slept over of course and uh, Saturday we went to the Mile High Flea Market. Uh, we bought a bunch of stuff. It was exciting to get out. We haven't been there. I think we were there at the end of the year so we haven't been there for eight months. Eight or nine months. And it was it was probably eight out of ten. And I'll show you some of the things we bought over the next couple of days. So uh, where is I going with this? <laughs> Friday, my wife likes to do shopping for clothes. A bunch of my kids got money now because they work either jobs outside the house or they work for me. They've got some money and they like to spend it on some clothes when we get into the bigger cities. And so they did some shopping. Wheeler and I went around and tried out some thrift stores and struck out. They didn't go very well. And so that was a bit of a downer, but Saturday at the flea market made up for it. Got some relaxing, got a break in. And by a break in, I mean a break in the action. We didn't, we didn't get the van broke into again. Although we had to think about it because we were loaded with so much stuff 
on and off throughout the uh, weekend. We are back in the office Monday today, uh, probably running at 80% speed. Wheeler's back, we'll check in with him. He got the uh, he got the sole case of food poisoning over the weekend. <laughs> Ouch. So we can talk to him about that a little bit. That wasn't very fun for Wheeler. I think he's recovered. I hear him in there doing some cubes. We've got some camera stuff that we bought that we'll show off this week. We've got some other stuff that we've got that we'll show off this week. What else? There was something else. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be working on stump removal today with the boys. Probably won't film that, but that's a great project. The boys are going to have fun with that. I've got school today. Probably won't show that, but we're going to have fun with that. And it's cleanse week. Woo! <laughs> cleanse week. We schedule that once in a while, too. So what kind of cleanse are you doing, dealer? Well, this is the famous... Dr. Group, G-R-O-U-P, Dr. Group, Dr. Group Liver Cleanse. Oh, yes. So what did I have for supper last night while well, everybody else, all the kids, uh, had Sam's eighth birthday meal of lasagna and good appetizers and Schwann's ice cream cones and all that kind of good stuff. I had a nice plate of baked up, oiled up Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Proceeded by eight ounces of liver cleanse water. <laughs> Woo. Proceeded by a nummy, nummy snack of raw pumpkin seeds. Man, I'm going to be good. Well, that is good to do to your body. Your body is sort of like a my body is sort of like an old, rusted Chevy sitting out in the field. Hasn't had its oil changed in a while, so this is sort of like an oil change. So it's oil change week and transmission flush. Woo! Low caffeine, no energy drinks, no alcohol, no milk, no sugar. Very regimented, lots of yucky water, apple cider vinegar water, lots of vegetables all the time, as much as you want. Uh, watermelon this morning, that was my breakfast, as much as you want watermelon. Mm. I'll be a new man by the end of the week. Okay, I'm going to go get to work here. I've got some odds and ends. I've got to get school started. I will show off part of my haul shortly. All right, so part of what I'm doing this month, uh, this month, part of what I'm doing this today is going over last month's August 2018's numbers. We ended August a few days ago, and so a couple of the calculations that I have to do uh, have to do with sales and uh, paying Wheeler on sales for the end of the month, for the last half of the month. And then I'm looking and tracking monthly sales on all my channels closer and closer. Every, every month I try to add a few more statistics and try to understand what's going on. And I have this graph. What you don't want to see is something like this. You don't want to see your sales going down, 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 down. Then we corrected it. You don't want to see that happen again. And let's see, this is the $15,000 combined sales month. This bottom here is $25,000. We had a really strong month starting out the year. Uh, I had some test strip sales in there where I was buying on eBay and selling on Amazon. So this number is inflated a little bit here, this $35,000. This is probably more realistic where I would like to be the 25,000. Uh, that would be a real good goal for us. We hit a bottom of 15, we got back up into the 20,000, 22,000 range. This was July's point. And then I just calculated, 
I calculated this was July's sales point and this is last month August sales point. I wrote steady there. And I'm going to go put this on, on Wheeler's door so he can understand what's going on. Uh, would I have liked to see it go up? Of course I would. This was a bottom in the middle of summer. Everything was slowing down. We were slowing down. We were not cohesive as a unit. We got our momentum contest going. We raised it up. We raised it up. Uh, now it's steady. Steady in the summer. I will take that as a good thing because summer can be down <laughs> and I would rather have it be up but we basically had the same sales this month as we did in July I don't know what September holds but I will keep graphing okay so we'll put this up on Wheeler's door there so you see where we're at there yeah steady so it wasn't a nosedive. Oh man, it wasn't just like a full, full straight down. Free fall. Free fall. Right? It wasn't like a building seven free fall. Yeah. For those conspiracy buffs. <laughs> so uh, steady. Obviously, I, I was just talking with our viewership that I'd like it to go up, but it's also good it didn't go down. So we're right. holding. Uh, here's the here's the big takeaway: is our inventory listed is much higher than it was 30 days ago oh, yeah. and so we positioned ourselves for more sales even though they didn't absolutely happen yep so what's going on with you not much i did notice one thing in the sold listings actually we had another one of those things with the repricing whatever it's funny because they even went back and changed the price on that one again but i still didn't click on it correctly so yeah. i sold for 90 instead of 120 so whatever yeah ebay minor issues again but you figured it out, right? Oh yeah, I figured it out. And the funny thing is I figured it out with this one and I went back and changed it. And it's still, it's still stuck around. I'll bring it up here in a minute on the yeah. channel and see what people have run into. Yeah, I so, mean, it's been going on for, I don't know, five days now. Keep monitoring it. Mm -hmm. So food poisoning, huh? Food poisoning, yeah, probably. <laughs> Seems like it. And on top of food poisoning, lots of other food and stuff that probably didn't help. Yeah. You're, ba right. you're back though. Back. Stomach still feeling a little bit weird. Not feeling 100 percent recovered, but I'm feeling I'm listing here. I am. Didn't go. Uh, didn't go for a run today. No. Me either. I feel like that'd be a great idea. I'm gonna go with a go for a a cleanse walk with your muma. Yeah, because I might pour something through, but it also might be a little bit too much. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, you gotta take it easy. No. Keep the liquids going. Exactly. Keep the fluids going. Some skateboarding later today with my new trucks and everything. Oh yeah, you you got a skateboard at the uh, flea market. Yep. So you, sure so up. am I gonna, am I gonna beat you with the flea market stuff, or are you gonna get your vlog back up? I should try and get that up earlier. Yeah. You got <laughs> how many, how many, how many vlogs do you have on your computer, both for your cube channel and your, uh, your picker channel that aren't uploaded? I mean, if you go for the old ones plus the new ones plus everything else, every video that I have never uploaded is probably a hundred. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's Keep a. Behind. Yep. I'm just gonna upload this one, and I, I mean, I'm just kind of I've given up on those other ones. Okay. Unless I finally. I would up. like to see the Atwood uh, ten yeah, ten have miler. Yeah, assembled. That one should be. I like. Put together. I like to see that one. Yep. Okay. Okay, so here's what Wheeler noticed, and I noticed it a little bit uh, listing on my camera channel too, and I don't really know what to say about it, but for some reason it, there is a glitch out there, and I guess I'm I'm asking to see if anybody has noticed this where you do your new listing uh we typically will copy an old listing and then do a new listing with that and put in all the information for the new listing the new pictures the new pricing the new shipping all that stuff for some reason the old price from the old listing is hanging over in some of the new listings so if you copy a listing that sold something for $69.99 and you reprice it at $99.99 you save it it's now a new listing you go back and the $69.99 still sticks there so you just shot yourself in the foot for 30 bucks now Wheeler thinks he has a workaround for this I'm going to continue to monitor it we don't want to give stuff away but if you have any comments on that Pete please put them below if you've noticed anything uh, we did find some other people on the eBay boards that were uh, experiencing some of this 
and uh, we picked up on some ideas there. Okay, so that was Wheeler telling me something else. So, um, we think we know what it is. The other thing is if you're if you had a two hundred dollar item and you reprice it when you redo a new listing off of that and your new item is sixty, if that two hundred hangs with it, then you're you're trying to sell an item that should go for sixty for two hundred. That doesn't help either. So Wheeler says it's this new promoted listing box that they have at the bottom of all listings. And so when you copy an old listing and try to reformat it to a new listing where you're just copying it and putting in all your new data the listing recalibrates with this new do you want this listing to be promoted listing it goes through its recalibration there and it screws up your your pricing that's something in the way they put that new box down towards the bottom of the listings something about that uh, is not good so my concern is not only with the listing, but when I reprice stuff, stuff and relist stuff, I'm wondering how that's going to happen. So something with that code, if anybody has any information on that, uh, definitely let me know. Something to monitor, though. Something to check out. Okay, five more here for a banana peeler. Let's just bring those to him and see where he's at. Here's five more. Ooh. Yeah. Since you put out the first stack and packed them. Yeah. And I'll come down to look these over in just a little while, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's whoop down the rest of these orders. Banana peeler put them out here before he goes uh, grocery shopping with mom. But we can whoop through these again if you're interested. Here's a Nikon lens, 43 bucks. Uh, film rewind knob. Some of those do sell, not typically for a whole lot of money, 12 bucks. Some sort of a rolly plate, 56 bucks plus some shipping. That's going to Canada, I can tell. Here's a rolly piece. Wow, there's a nice one. Looks like a lens of some kind of, now yeah, it's a filter. 80 bucks. Unbranded filter, 13 bucks. Nikon One Touch camera. It's a point and shoot, went for 90. That's the one that we had priced for. 119 or something like that and got repriced by the uh, non-ability for the new pricing to stick with the new listing. Kodak Retina, 39 bucks. It's, you know, sure it's going to sell cheap at that price, right? <laughs> Here's a quaternary lens that's probably been around with us forever. Look how dusty it is. I'm going to have to take that and blow off the dust. That was before we put them in bags. 13 bucks free shipping. Whoa. Hope that sticks. Don't want to pay shipping back and forth on it. Topcon, Bessler, camera, $58. Here's a Canon point and shoot of some kind with a battery charger, $38. Here's a lens hood in case, Pentex, 6x7, 48 bucks plus shipping, going to Singapore. That stuff's from before that I'm gonna bundle up. Here's a fax lens, 13 bucks. Some people might wonder about fixed lenses. This one uh, is a fixed lens that doesn't go for too much. Okay, and this is a smelly fitted case, $20. I see we put smells in the title. And another case wow case day $13 some court sort of uh, movie camera case problem with cases. okay there's a lot of problems with selling cases there are cases that we sell that are even approaching a hundred dollars for a fitted case for the certain camera cases fit a number of different cameras and then people like to experiment and try to fit them to their oddball camera and there's a lot of room for error and problems. And so the percentage of problems with the case market is higher than other things. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want them returned, especially if we're selling them for 13 bucks. I don't want to, I don't want it not to be happy for it. Here's an Army PX uh, zoom lens set of some kind with the case, $104. I won't open it up. 
Here's a lens in a lens bubble, 34 bucks. A Schneider Krusnoff retina lens. Here's a Hasselblad accessory, $32. Going to Vietnam. And this other one over here was going somewhere overseas. Kodak Retina, 27 bucks. Uh, mint. Auto Sears lens. Wow, a Sears lens, a mint one, the right kind. $179.99. There's a good one. And a Hasselblad rewind knob, $10.40. Okay, so I think if my count is right, we're at 43 items in the camera side of things so far. I don't know if we'll get any more in. I expect to. They've been coming in at more than one order per hour here since we started packing. I think our sale runs here for another five hours. My overall impression of this weekend's sales are uh, typical for us, which is good. If we weren't running a sale, it could be slow because people are typically running here, there, and everywhere on, on a holiday weekend like this. Summer shopping, sometimes it depends on the weather. Uh, we probably will have strong sales all day today and all through the night. People get home and they want to shop for something or they broke something on their camera or they ran into something and they're looking for it, whatever the case. So I will also show the, the sales that we had in the other categories. I sold a couple things that have been sitting around for a while that I'm glad I sold and uh, we just continued to work on that you know what I mean <laughs> okay so we're uh, still packing orders here uh, trying to get some visuals out on some of the things I bought this weekend to you today and then probably some more tomorrow and maybe even Wednesday if we don't get it to all I, I worked with a couple vendors there that I've bought things before and I like to bundle things with anybody but these people I really like to bundle with because I can get some great deals so uh, I got these joysticks I like vintage computers like Commodore 64's and Vic 20's and old Apple computers some of the old IBM stuff uh, you know video games ColecoVision all those kind of things and so these go back to those days. The back one I thought was going to be pretty good turns out fairly common. It's a flight stick made by CH Products, US made. Uh, 10 bucks plus shipping is about what they go for. Maybe a little more if you want to wait and or time the market and or test it and or if you got a really clean one or maybe the box. But... I was surprised that that goes for that low. This one uh, is for an Apple. I think it's uh, CH Products again. Mach 3 is how I was able to narrow it down. And then, you know, you can check the connectors. The pin formation that you see here is an Apple product. The pin formation that you see here is IBM from what I can remember and tell. Uh, that one's an Apple too, I believe. Oh, I don't know. So uh, this is the Apple Mach 3. They made it in a couple different color designs. Somebody sold one of these for 80, 90 bucks. That was near mint, they said. Never seen a better one. This one I probably will get 30, 40, 50 for, somewhere in that range. But uh, they go pretty good. They uh, You got to put the right keywords and might have to wait a little bit for the deck to clear but that's a pretty good fall sell somebody will buy that that wants to get back into flight or apple computer games this one is really cool i thought this would be a big one i still think it may be maxx max made by altruis uh, it's a flight yoke that you can fasten it's got some clampage here you can flat fasten it on your table and fly away it's got uh, you know the fighter button buttons and fuel control or speed control I believe it's IBM compatible and it's funny because there's paint on here and there's paint on this one so I think they were owned by the same people they drip some paint or they drip some 
uh, could be uh, paper, white paper stuff, what the heck do you call it, liquid paper, <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, this one is in really good shape, just like that one. There's some guy trying to get one of these, and he's obviously, uh, it's at auction. It's not going to get much for it. I'm actually tempted to buy it. I think he's starting the auction at $20, plus uh, shipping for this and a, another joystick. I googled it, didn't find much. For the vintage gamer that wants to restore their youth, or pair this with a particular game, from an old IBM, whatever. To me, this is a $40, $50, $60, $60, even more item, especially since it seems to be real clean and in good shape. So I always like to work with those things. Now, how much did I pay for them? Well, I told you I bundled them. Uh, hard to tell. The three of them, maybe, maybe 25 bucks is what I paid for them. It, it depends how you slice the deal. The pieces that I got in the deals that I made paid for themselves. These were sort of thrown in as, hey, here's our, our pile. We ended up buying a, uh, a printer, new in box, and then we looked at some more stuff and we decided to make a, a pile, and we did a pile deal, and then we came back even later in the day and bought some more stuff in a pile. So I'll show you all those items. Here's some to start with. Okay, nothing teaches uh, about nature. <laughs> like yeah, pulling out a tree stuff. Where's, where is he? Where's my lumberjack beard? <laughs> I don't want to give away our, our secret location here. Yep. So what do you think? Uh, fun. More work than you thought or fun? Fun. Come on over. I've done this before. This is easy. Really? For the weak sauce. Well, I did the basement plumbing stuff. Oh yeah. I, well, I mean, I dug for hours and hours. So, there, <laughs> so these guys did 95% of the work and 75% of the thought pattern. Look at it's see, pretty. Gotta push it pretty don't, yeah, don't right there. fall in there. We got it. So one more big hit right there. It's got a lot of roots, and the problem is that one came and sort of joined it under there. So you you, you got to figure out whose roots you're going after. All right, give it a go. Trying to knock its head off. Yeah, if you can't do it in one, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh I knew that was gonna happen. That's it for him. There He's out. Okay. This isn't the Let's way you it. should do it at home. Yeah. Don't try this at home. Right there. Gotta aim it just right. Oh, oh it's absorbing. Lucky. No, it's not. Oh, he's got it. I got it last time. Pull it up. Pull Did it. You hear it last oh. Time? It was done. Oh, it's. Wow. Oh my there gosh. No, there it is. That's a real yeah, These guys are getting some life lessons yeah, here. Stay. More roots here than I thought in this uh, dry climate. Out there, right. he's got to figure out where the pole is. And oh man, oh, I missed it. Oh, it's mm. fighting back. Yeah, it's a good one. I think you guys had it. <laughs> oh, oh, they're fighting over the remainder. They're gonna put they it in there. Lift it. Yeah. They're gonna... I can lift it. I can lift it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said my name. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was gonna lift my head one handed. Ooh, you moron. Way to go, guys. Okay, let's do a quick uh, look over of the other orders that are going out for tomorrow that I hope to get back tonight yet. Uh, this is a really cool print. I think I got these for $15 each and it's like a thick fiber board. It's sort of a dealer print. This is an old Suburban. Uh, I paid $15 each. There were four of them. I do have three left. I just don't think people can find them. I don't understand. There aren't a lot of these. Uh, maybe I'm listing them wrong, but uh, the first one I sold for 55 bucks plus shipping. This one, you know, not as desirable, but it went for $20 plus shipping, so that's not so good because it's kind of a pain to bundle that thing up. And the other two, I don't know if I'll even break even, probably not after expenses. So all said, bad buy but surprising i mean i would have thought that these would have been really cool it's not a poster it's a thick board they're not in perfect condition but whatever and they're not the most desirable vehicles so i guess you know nobody wants to idolize their their old uh, suburban this is called the chevrolet cheyenne super 10. Woo! there is a Steam locomotive belt buckle, 11 plus shipping. 
Here are the two slide rulers I bought for 20 bucks not too long ago. $47.49 plus shipping. Here is the Blue Angels in shrink wrap model. Paid uh, $10 for that model, I believe. $90.24 plus shipping. Color compensating filter. I got a bunch of these. Boy, I didn't want to list those, and now I know why. Went around the horn a couple times, sold for $6.59 plus no shipping. I'm going to put that in an envelope. The last one I shipped, and I've only sold a couple. The lady said she didn't get it. Of course, with the stamp, there's no tracking, and it's a handwritten label, and so whatever. <laughs> Some mistakes are made today. Carbon paper, old carbon paper, a couple boxes goes for $6.39 plus shipping. Uh, Lloyd's Daylight Filter, $22.99 plus some shipping. These guys we already talked about. Uh, $65, no, $63.99, $24.99 plus shipping for those two pieces. That's a little better. Again, that's not going to be the greatest pack job. And then a watch went out for $30 free shipping. A Swatch watch. I think I've got three more Canon camera orders upstairs. Canon guy orders. And so I don't know if we're going to get to those tonight, but they'll certainly go out tomorrow. Time for supper. I earned it. I dug a little, I dug a little bit out there and chopped a little bit and uh, sawzawed some roots off, and the boys did a great job. I like that kind of work when you got helpers. They actually more or less had fun too. If we had to do ten of them, they probably wouldn't. <laughs> Okay, I'm running out of time. I uh, went out on a walk with Lon and uh, <laughs> got a couple other things done and I got to get to bed at a reasonable time tonight. Cleanse orders. Cleansing orders. Get some sleep. Okay, so I will have to show some more stuff that we got at the flea market in Denver tomorrow. I'll give you a quick look at these uh, mannequin beauty heads. They've got full wigs. Some of them have weird rubber faces. They're reasonable quality. Um, they're obviously used. They're decent brands. There are some male, some female, and some other pieces along with them. There's over 20 of them. And so, I've bought these in limited quantity before and sold them. They sell pretty well. A big lot like this will sell pretty well. I paid 130 bucks after some negotiation. The uh, seller started at 200. I went down to 100, and we threw in some fake hand, finger, hand, puppet, hand things, where you can paint the nails and do whatever, and settled on 130. Uh, 10, 15 dollars in bulk, easy on these. So probably will originally. Uh, starting price this buy it now at 300 plus shipping I'll have to do a little research before I do that on KMS California names and some of the names of these to make sure but uh, with all the extra wigs and hair pieces it's a great deal beauty school hair school salon school whatever <laughs> so it's it, it's a pretty good deal it'll take me 10 minutes to lay these things out, 5 minutes to take pictures, 10 minutes to uh, list it, and 10 minutes to throw them in a box. I'll probably just pre-throw them in a box and pack it and out the door. So not much time and should be a hundred or more dollars profit. Okay, more tomorrow. I think we're approaching 60 orders going out tomorrow. Uh, 52 packed UPS, USPS, couple UPS. I didn't even finish that one yet. And then we were about three down. So approaching 60 orders going out tomorrow. That's a busy day. No matter how you slice it, couple that with everything else <laughs> that was going on today. I guess I labored on Labor Day. No choice. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Tune in tomorrow. There will be more exciting finds revealed. Pick well, list off in, dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer production. <laughs>